Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today, inshallah, I like to talk about uh, two particular topics. These are called Law of Sines and Law of Cosine. Uh, this, I think, is reasonably easy, uh, inshallah, um, and uh, I like to illustrate to you uh, with the following problem. See, if you are given a right triangle like this, okay, and you are asked to solve for x in this case, we are given uh, an angle here and a side measure. This is reasonably uh, easy to do. So what you do in this case is you set up a, uh, a trigonometric uh, proportion um, using what's given to you. And in this case, what's given to you is this side measure and this angle, and you're asked to find the hypotenuse. So you, the trigonometric function that you're going to use is, is uh, cosine. So cosine of 55 degrees, therefore, uh, is going to equal to adjacent over hypotenuses, right? So, ka, toa, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. In this case, we know the adjacent and we know the hypotenuse. So you can use cosine of 55 degrees is going to equal to adjacent 23 over hypotenuse. Okay. Now we're asked to solve this for x. So we're going to, however you do it, you can cross multiply. Now you're going to get x is equal to 23 divided by cosine of 55 okay and if you do this uh, you get um, x to be 40.1 and that makes sense because it's hypotenuse it better be bigger than the side here so that's going to be in centimeters okay so now uh, so so we get x to be 40.1 so you can use these uh, trigonometric uh, 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 properties ratios uh, uh, to find problems. Now you can only do this with the right triangles. Okay, so this is critical. So you can only do this if you're given right triangles. Okay. Now what, on the other hand, if you are dealing with a triangle that was not a right triangle that would be terribly unfair if you couldn't work with them right so here's a triangle then that is not a right triangle clearly because it's definitely not a right triangle 110 degrees now uh, so um, as you recall in from geometry uh, um, vertices are labeled with capital letters and typically, and it's must have to label uh, side lengths in, with small letters. If you wanted to, if you call the side opposite of A, typically with a small A and side opposite of B with a small B and side opposite of C with a small letter C. So in this case now, um, how do we go about finding out um, um, uh, these uh, side lengths and these angle measurements? That's what we're supposed to find here, okay? The directions here is to solve the triangle, okay? Which means find out uh, whatever is not found out. You know, find out what this is, find out what this is, find out what that is. So that's that's what we are asked to do over here. So we are supposed to solve this triangle. So when it's not a right triangle like this, okay, that's when you use the law of sines or law of cosine, okay? So today, where I like to begin first, we're just to rev reviewing what these uh, what these uh, formulas are, and next time I'll do uh, examples using these in uh, some uh, more, inshallah. So, now, law of sines is, is this, okay? It suggests that sine of A over A equals sine of B over B equals si uh, sine of C over that's capital C, sine of C over uh, C. So that's pretty easy now. It's just a set of ratios that says the sine of angle A over uh, the length of the side A equals the sine of angle B over the length of side B, and sine of sine C over, uh, equals, uh, over uh, divided by C uh, is equal to also. So this is the law of sines, okay? Now the law of cosine is this. Law of cosine is c squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, okay? 
So it's kind of like this. If remember, if you have a minus b squared, remember those a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. It looks very similar to that, doesn't it? Um, so it's 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 kind of like this, but it has one additional thing. It has a cosine over here. Basically, it's the one thing that's addition. It looks very similar to that. That's how that's how I remember this formula. Now, how do you know which one to use? Okay, well, uh, after practice, you just gets a little bit. See, uh, with law of sines, you don't use all of this. You, you basically use like part of this. You can you use that or you can use this or something like that. So it's usually, uh, if, but if you, let's say if you're using this, you have to understand you have to know at least two angles and one side or you have to know at least two sides and one angle. So, um, so you have to know three of these things out of the four, whichever are, uh, are you going to use. So in this case, let's say we wanted to solve for uh, B here, okay? So then you would set up this ratio, okay? You would say sine of angle B over side B is going to equal to sine of uh, C over C. And this works out because sine of B over side B, which is given to us, is 14 or times sine of C, which is 110 over the side C, which is 22. And then you can see that we know this is just a constant, constant term, and it's only the B is the one that is not known, okay? So today I'm just going to focus on the law of sines, and then we we're going to the law of cosines next time. So when do you use law of sines and law of cosines? When you're trying to work with triangles that are not right triangles. As I said, in this case, we're going to solve this triangle using here law of sine. So this is going to be sine of B over 14 is going to equal to sine of C, which is 110 over uh, C, which is 22. Now we're going to solve this for B. We're going to say sine of B is going to equal to multiply both sides by 14, right, like this, okay? So that's going to be equal to 14 times sine of 110 over 22, all right? And that comes out to be, all of this comes out to be this. It's a, it's a irrational, it keeps going, but I round it off here. Now, we're not done yet, so now we have to find inverse sine of B. So B, angle measure of angle B is going to be, and this is in degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degrees if you're using degrees and not radians. So it's going to be inverse sine, inverse sine of 0 0.598, okay? And that comes up to be 36.73 degrees. So that's a measure of angle B. So that is 36 point seven three degrees and then you can just subtract at the, uh, both of these from 180 to get angle a let's do that and if you do that angle a becomes 33.27 degrees okay um so that's this and, that, and the, i got this uh, from uh, 110 plus 336.73 degrees, and I, I, I subtract that from 180 degrees to get that angle A, okay? So we got, because the three angle, that was the, add up to 180 degrees. So we got this to be 33.27 degrees over there. Now, the only thing that remains is to find side A. We're going to set up another ratio. So sine of A over A is going to equal to, you can use anything, sine of C over C. So, sine of A, which is 33.27 over A, is going to equal to sine of C, which is 110 degrees, over C, which is 22. So, from here, A is going to, if you solve this out, you're going to get 22 times sine of 33.27 over sine of 110. If you cross multiply and whatnot, if you do that, then you will get this, okay? And when you do that, and if you solve this, A becomes 12.84, I believe. 12.84, okay? That's from here. 
Okay, so A is 12.84. So that's how, now we've solved the triangle. So, so what we learned today here is law of signs, which I think is very, very, very pretty cool. Now, sometimes the law of signs is written like this, A over sine of A, uh, or B over sine of B, and C over sine of C. And that's okay because it's a flip of everything, right? But to me, somehow, this kind of comes out better, uh, uh, easier from the tongue. Now, sine of A over A equals sine of B over B equals sine of C over C. So, but this is a law of signs. You use law of signs or law of cosines, which we'll talk about next time, inshallah, when you're trying to solve triangles that are not right triangles. If you uh, are dealing with the right triangles, you don't have to do funny business like this. You just set up simple uh, trigonometric ratios and solve them, okay? Next time, inshallah, we'll talk about law of cosines or law of cosine. Until then, as-salatu wa-salam.